All right, you beautiful legends, and welcome back to another night, albeit a very windy, wet, and cold night on the shore. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna be able to find tonight. The conditions aren't fantastic, and the tide isn't too bad. So yeah, we're gonna have a hunt around, see if we can get some Larry lobsters, or a last minute bass, or something like that, and see what we can find. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, have a bit of an explore. We have to be careful, because it's pretty rough out here at the moment. So yeah, we have to be careful with any form of risk taking or anything like that. As you can see, yeah, the tide's surging in quite a bit, but yeah, we've still got a little while to low tide, so yeah, we'll see what we can find. This is a little bit of a different species. This, I believe, is the common European green eel, something like that, different from the conger. Congers are normally like that shade of grey slash blue, but this guy, or girl, yeah, is that sort of greeny brown colour. I've come across these before in the past, but I've not been able to catch them on film before. So a little bit of a channel first for this one. So happy days. What an awesome creature. I'll give you guys a little bit of a close up. Yeah, pretty amazing little find. I wasn't expecting this to find down here. Just a little tidbit of information for you. They actually migrate thousands and thousands of miles each year. Somewhere, I think, believe they migrate all the way down to the Mediterranean. Yeah. An awesome creature hunting out in our waters. Amazing. So glad to come across this guy. What an awesome little find to start the night with. Let's get you put back down there, buddy. You go and enjoy your night. There you go. Just stay away from my boots. Off you go. There we go. Not a bad start to the night. Not a bad start at all. First lobster down and a needle as well. Yeah, this is only a little small one. A little perfection in miniature, so to speak. Awesome colorations on this Larry as well. Absolutely awesome. Yeah, we'll get you put back in your little home down there, buddy. Let's tip you up. There you go. You can go back in down underneath your cave. Bye bye. You stay safe. What a cool little Larry. All right, there, folks. Don't know how well you can be able to see it, but it looks like we've got a half decent sized brown edible crab down the back of this one. Right down the very back. Doesn't look like too bad of a size. So I'm going to have to put the uh, camera down as it's quite a rough spot. And I'll see if I can get this little butte out and give you guys a show. We might even have a keeper straight off the bat. Well, let's have a look. Unfortunately, it's female. You can tell it's female by this big pad in the middle here. This pad here, where my thumb is, this big D is called the apron, and that's where she stores her eggs. So yeah. She's too small to keep anyway, but she did look a bit bigger in there, but a couple of battle wounds on her. Solid shell, because you can see all the keel worms, so she's probably fairly ready to peel. Anyway, we'll get her put back in her home. You go. We're back down there, Missy. She'll be fine. Give her a sack. She'll relax. Let's get you put upright. Give you a little splash. She'll go right back down into her home. Give her a second there, and she'll be on her way. There we go. Back she goes for the night. Stay out of trouble. Bye bye. Easiest bottom rest of my life, there, folks. So, put my hook in down there. Thought I felt something soft and tried to tease it out, have my net at the ready, and a bottom rest shot out. I thought it might have been a soft lobster, but no, it was this guy instead. Yeah. A little bit different, another little catch for the night. Get you put back in there, buddy. And there you go. You go back and hide in there. What an awesome find. Well, there was. I think it's gone now. There was a bass swimming around, and a minute ago, I lost the Larry Lobster as well. Unfortunately, it had it in the net, it was only part in. And uh, yeah came out and swam away. It's a shame because I dropped the keeper. But still got plenty of holes to check out. Heading over there in just a second, see what we can find. Well that was a little unexpected. Literally heading on out. Gotta be careful of where I'm stuck in now, I'm still on my way there. Let me get across safely. Oh, I'm nearly there. Yeah. That was quite unexpected. What a lovely sized bass. Right, punk ourselves down here give you guys a show. Sorry for the awkward angles there. Take one torch away. Oh, I did not expect to stumble across that. D 
did not expect that at all. That is a lovely size sea bass. Absolutely lovely. I will try. I can't remember if I brought my tape measure with me actually. I'll, um, I'll put the camera down for a sec guys. I'll see if I've got my tape measure in my bag if I brought it with me. And we'll give this guy a proper measure because otherwise I will take that. Full disclosure, right now it is the 23rd of November. So these become illegal to take in December. But yeah, I will um, give you guys a show of everything. I'll try and get my phone out as well and show you the date. It'll probably be December slash Jan before this video is up for you all. But yeah, lovely sized bass. Happy days. About there, to so the top. So yeah, about 45, 46 centimeters. Yeah, lovely sized bass. We'll get this guy dispatched and I'll get him in my uh, foraging bag and we'll take him home. We'll do a nice little cook up. What a lovely catch. Well, pretty much come across nothing tonight, but we've got a little schooly bass down here. Uh, this one is definitely not big enough to keep. Probably in the region of 35 centimeters, something like that. Yeah, definitely not big enough. Oh, you slash my camera, mister. <laughs> there you go. Nowhere near as big enough. Oh, sorry, nowhere near big enough and nowhere near as big as the last one. That one there's, yeah, probably about 35 centimetres, somewhere around there, which is over 30. And about a good pound. But yeah, you can go back, mister. And, go and enjoy your night. Stay out of trouble. Literally, it's only about a foot deep here, not even that. Some of it's about six inches. Yeah. And he's shot off over there. Well there, folks. That there was the last hole for me to check. So I'm going to head on in. Yeah. We've got a lovely bass in our bag there. Lovely, lovely size. Biggest bass I've ever caught. So I'm pretty happy with that. It was completely unexpected. To be fair though, I think every bass that I've come across, I've not expected to catch it. Literally walking out to come up to some holes out here, and it was just literally in front of me on a rock, scooped it straight up. Easiest bass of my life, really. But yeah, it's been a bit of a, a cold, windy, wet, horrible night. I haven't really found much, unfortunately. One small lobster. The eel was a nice find. I will definitely uh, annotate that in. So, clip you've seen before should be all annotated for you as to what type i'm pretty sure it was a european green lobster uh, european green eel something like that but yeah it was a nice nice find but biggest disappointment of the night for me was dropping that keepable lobster couldn't film it unfortunately because i was out in about waist deep water but yeah i had it just on the edge of my net if i'd waited about another second it would have been fully in before i scooped it up and that was it tipped off and shot away it is what it is but we got our bass i'm happy with that and i will catch you guys in the kitchen all right there folks and welcome to the kitchen got a little bit of a uh, poorly child unfortunately which is going to be joining us but yeah as i said full disclosure <coughs> just so you guys know <coughs> cough cough darling it is the 24th of november so yeah it is actually illegal to take bass in december here in the uk and normally there's a ban between january and march as well so yes, this is probably going to be the last bass I catch for this year, unfortunately. But yeah, it's an absolute cracker of a sea bass. We're going to make this really, really simple. We're going to do an oven baked sea bass on a bed of potatoes, bit of a Mediterranean style, just easy, easy peasy. Tomatoes, fennel, we've got lemongrass stick, standard sort of um, onion, smoked garlic, and our citrus, some lime and some lemon. Nice and simple. Bed of potatoes, fennel and tomatoes on top, sea bass on top of that, season it all up, chuck it in the oven, nice and simple, easy done. You looking forward to it? You did even say, you said those two, but not the sea bass. And the sea bass as well, yes. Sea Can't forget the sea bass. sea bass, sea bass will be on top, yeah. We'll uh, <coughs> use some of the parsley, the lemongrass, and the um, lime and the lemon to stuff inside the belly cavity of the sea bass as well. Okay. Last night, I scaled the sea bass, uh, dispatched it all down by the shore, got rid of the guts and stuff like that. It saves so much mess at home. So if you are catching it and taking it, it's sort of all goes back into the nitrogen cycle as well, I suppose. Get rid of the guts, get rid of the scales on the shoreline, and then all the little critters can have a little feed as well. So yeah, we're going to crack on with that. We'll get that prepared and we'll show you the steps on the way. And also, there's red tomatoes and orange tomatoes. There are red and orange tomatoes, you are correct, yeah different colours. Well done. We're going to get cracking. We're going to get chopping. Catch you in a sec. 
Right, to start with there, folks, we're just going to cut up our potato into some nice, simple, easy slices. About half a centimetre thick, something like that. I'm going to keep the skin on this one today as well. Right, next up, with your fennel bulb, we're just going to take the hard bit off the end off. Pick the top bit off, discard that. And then we're just going to slice this up just roughly. Just like so. Cameraman or camera woman has a question, go for it. Um, last week we just didn't even like the smell of it. We don't like the smell of it, it smells like aniseed. Oh. It's aniseedy smell. Do you want to have a smell? Down behind the camera. Aniseed. A bit of an aniseedy smell. Right, potatoes chopped, lay it in. Fennel chopped. We're just going to spread that throughout as well. Just like so, just scatter it on. Right, we're getting through this as best we can there, guys. So, we've got our lemongrass. We're going to use this as part of our stuffing, so to speak, for our sea bass. <coughs> What I'm going to do, in order to help release a bit of the flavour, it's got my uh, nice bashing tool from my mortar and pestle. And just smash that up nicely like that. That will just help to release some of the flavour from the lemongrass. What we can do then is pop that inside. We're going to get some lime. <laughs> A couple of uh, slices, and then we're going to get our lemon and do the same. What I'm getting is piff at the moment, strange lemon. Right, there we go. Never seen a lemon with such thick piff before. This white stuff around there. Oh, darling, you really are dying, aren't you, at the moment? We're just going to stuff our lemon and lime best we can just into the belly cavity there next we're going to take a handful of parsley and we're going to stuff that in there as well pop that in there nice easy and simple take our fishy get rid of that our sea bass yeah and just pop that onto our tray. Right, barely fits on. Look at that. Barely, barely fits in the tray. That's a nice size table sea bass, that is. Happy days with that one. Yeah, so all I've done now is I've got the oven up to 180 degrees. We're gonna get that in the oven for about 30 minutes, and then I'm gonna add the tomatoes and give it about another 30 minutes to cook. Just make sure it's all good. Say so it's as simple as that, and then we'll be ready to serve. Into the oven, he goes. There we go. Let's get our timer set for the 30 minutes. Bang! Then we can relax for a little bit. Right. Well, that's our 30 minutes up. So we're going to grab. Ooh, steamy. There we go. Steamy. 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 Oh, that is smelling lovely at the moment. I'm going to shut this one. What we're going to do now is pop the temperature up to 200. We're gonna take our tomatoes, place them. Yes, camera lady, how can I help? The eyeballs are not there anymore, Yeah, the eyeballs have gone white, that is correct. What we're gonna do? We're gonna the hot steam or hot Whatever it is, it's hot. It is, it's very hot in there, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that is smelling absolutely lovely. So yeah, we're gonna add the tomatoes in now, just like that. And then we're gonna pop it back in the oven for another 30 minutes. So, back in it goes. Easy, straightforward, quick and simple, just like that. I also forgot to say as well, kitchen's finished. Hooray, ta-da! 
got to have a big, big thank you in this video as well to the brother in law for coming down and finishing it off. All sockets are on, tech ballings all on, coverings all on, painting's been done. It's looking absolutely fantastic. <coughs> Sorry, camera lady's still ill. Poor camera lady. But yeah, it's looking absolutely fantastic. I can't thank him enough. So yeah, he's done an absolutely spot on job. Happy days, really chuffed. When that comes up, it will be serving time. We'll catch you for the plate up in just a minute. All right, there we are, folks. <coughs> a little bit of parsley to finish it. Oh, absolutely delicious. Oven baked sea bass. Check that pewter out. Smells absolutely divine and so simple to do. Hi right, folks, thank you for joining us for our dinner. My pot is now home. I've been looking forward to this, as well as a poorly ill child who's still coughing. But yeah, you tuck in? Yes, let's do it. Do it. Do it. Let's get tucking yeah. in. Let's um, separate some of this sea bass, shall we? It's done right. This should literally just pull away. The stuff inside of it slipped out. The stuff inside of it slipped out? Yeah. Let's see if I it's can. It's so brown. It's the poop trail. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not the poop trail, darling. What lobsters just... have one, so why do fish and like crabs have some? They do. You are right. They do. Why, why does the sea bass not have a poop trail? It does have a poop trail, so Where to speak. Is it? I removed it, it's part of the tummy. And Let me try and get some of uh, get some of this off. You just have to be careful of the big bones in it, okay? I've got the poop. So when you're doing it like this, folks, you just need to be careful of the pin bones and stuff like that. But they, they literally just pick out and fall apart. This fish is just um, absolutely falling apart. Kitty's delighted to join us as well. She uh, is hungry and looks like she wants some. There you go, there's some tomato for you. Thank you. And put more potato. Yay, potato! Get some of this off. It's very hot. Yeah, I bet you want. <gasps> Yummy sea bass! What's it like? Is it very nice? Be yeah. careful of the bones. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, it's good. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah? You want a little bit there, kitty? It's gonna be hot. What do you think? Sit here. Give me. A little bug. Hey, bet you, kitty. There you go. Even the cat gets fed. She gets to try a little bit as well. So yeah, what do you think? <laughs> good? Yeah. Probably be good? Really good. It turned out nice. It smells amazing. I have to uh, dish myself up some as well. Yeah, because you know the bit of the big <gasps> of the sea bass. Oh, I definitely don't. Yummy. Oh, definitely don't want to miss out. The sea bass is really yummy. But it smells absolutely lovely. Do you want a little bit of lemon or lime squirted on yours, Violet? Do you want a little bit of. A little I bit? want a little bit of lime. A little bit of, little bit of lemon. And <laughs> a little bit of lime. Um. Yeah. <laughs> what Kitty, are you doing, Violet? This isn't for you. I know. She, but she's like, please, Daddy. I'm part of the family, too. Please. I, want, I just want. Things I just want. That's all. Can give a little bit more? Not of yours, darling. I'll give no. her some of this because yours has got lemon and lime and stuff on it. And she won't be able to have it. So there's nothing inside of this that would be bad for her. But it's just very, very hot. You're an impatient little cat. Alright, there's a little bit for you. Yeah, you enjoy that. Ah! It's stuck in my <laughs> What are you doing to that seat? Do you know to pick it up for you? There you go. It just literally falls apart. And then it's gone. There it is, right. I'm gonna sit down and enjoy this and we'll get back to you guys in a minute because it looks absolutely lovely and I want to tuck in. Well folks, you know it's cooked well. When the bone just literally pulls away. Look at that. Oh, that's hot. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Yeah, let's get that to one side so we can actually dish up some more. Oof. Kitty, you can have that bit, there's no bone in it. Yeah, let's uh, break that off. Oh, even the bone just falls apart. 
Look at that. And we can get to the other side and enjoy that bit. Right there guys, well thank you for joining us for dinner. We've all got full bellies and that fish has been destroyed. Come here you. Even this little monkey. <laughs> yeah, that little monkey even got some as well this time around. But yeah, it was a bit of a bit of an odd night out. Didn't really find much just due to the weather being so bad. And this bass was a complete surprise. I've seen a couple of them out, but yeah, this one was just literally in the water as I was going out to some of the lobster <coughs> holes. Probably sausage. Little one still. Uh, Bit of a nasty cold at the moment, but yeah. What did you think of it? Cool, bro. Cool, bro? Yeah, cool story, bro. You've got a little pimple. I've got a pimple, apparently. <laughs> nice. But yeah, that was absolutely delicious. We've uh, demolished the whole lot. Even the cat enjoyed it. Although I don't think she'd say no to sea bass. <laughs> Funnily enough, she turned up place, but hey-ho. Yeah. Thank you again for joining us. It's been a bit of an odd adventure, but it's been a fantastic cook-up. You all good? Belly full? <coughs> She's looking forward to pudding, so we're going to get the pudding out. We're going to have tiramisu. We've got some tiramisu for pudding. Not homemade, unfortunately, just a shop bought one, but yeah. Thank you there, guys. Thank you for joining us. And as I always say, from my adventure to yours, stay safe, have a lovely day, and we'll catch you on the next one. And don't forget to what? Like and subscribe. God, she's doing pretty good with this. Yeah. <laughs> don't forget, if you've, if you've enjoyed this episode, Hit that like button, click subscribe, ring the notification bell to get all the future updates and content from myself. And we'll catch you on the next one. I hope we Peace catch a lobster. <laughs> and hopefully I'll be out tonight to catch a lobster, we'll see. Bye-bye.